In this video I'm gonna show you how I reached top 140 in the world using a free to play deck. So I'm playing Hogbait and uh, I maxed this deck years ago like 3 years ago because it was free to play, uh, free to play friendly and it's a Macarius deck like he doesn't play this deck anymore but I'm still playing it because I can't really max the other decks so I'm gonna show you guys uh, how, I, uh, how to like play in top ladder and explain my gameplay here as as usual so this time i i didn't stop after i reached top 200 i kept playing and i actually reached top 140 so this match we are facing drill like uh goblin drill cycle with uh, with mighty miner so yeah i'm gonna show you how to win this matchup so against drill your best counter is obviously gonna be goblin gang or guards Currently I'm playing guards because uh, they survive fireball and arrows so <laughs> guards are kinda really good right now in this deck. I'm not sure about the other decks but uh, in this deck like even if they fireball I can still like my guards still live you know. And there I played the uh, spear drops to distract that uh, goblin, goblin case. Yo what's it called? Goblin drill yeah goblin drill. So here he has bomber and mighty miner coming he can ability so keeping that in mind i keep i i killed the bomber first i also support this push with hog and bats at the bridge he has fire spear so that is defended so you gotta keep uh pressuring him in this game look at him like he played that goblin drill when he was like two uh, with, uh six elixir yeah when he was at six elixir he played goblin drill so he has like a he's trying to out cycle and stuff so I see that moment and I, I immediately play uh, my Evo motor on the right and I actually got more damage than him. So he's still playing drill. Now I think I'm gonna play guards. So as soon as he played drill I went hog and bats another lane so he doesn't l really not giving him a chance to make a big push like not giving him a chance to support that goblin drill. So look at the motor. Motor's gonna kill the bomber so we don't have to worry and just distract the mighty miner with uh, spear drops here like he's back to his drill he he cycles really fast he's also go now he's gonna support that i still play motar but he's gonna support and he also predict log my spear drops so he has like a really quick cycle but in that process like did you guys notice uh, he spent so much on the left side at that moment I al already played like my motor on the right side and my motor got uh, more damage than him. So that's how you should pressure in this matchup like as soon as he drills you need to pressure opposite and look at that prediction fireball. He's a really good player so he predict my minion horde. And currently I have like uh, 500 uh, approximately 500 damage lead i play hog at the bridge but look at that hog it, it it went backwards like the range for golden drill or hog rider i'm not sure but it's like too large uh, hog should like cross the bridge but it didn't but yeah it's whatever i play evo motor on the right so not letting him to make a push a big push and the minion heart to counter everything and uh, Evo Motor actually did a great job uh, forcing a lot of his stuff. My minion heart is alive, so my some of the minions actually killed the Tesla, and uh, he also missed a log on my hog. So this is a good game. So yeah, currently 218, and uh, I did not stop here. Like I kept going at even after reaching top 200. And here we are facing EGW. He's also a good player. Like he plays really. I think he's testing decks right now, I'm not sure, because he was playing like Witch. Nobody plays Witch in top ladder. And he also has like uh, the Cannoneer troop, Tower troop. And uh, I thought at first like it's not that strong, but after playing a lot of battles in top ladder, I feel like the Cannoneer troop is not that bad. Like it's, it, it gets the job done against like maybe Golden Giant decks, Beatdown decks, but if I have the cannon near troop like I'm gonna 100% lose to <laughs> graveyard and stuff cause like even with bait I cannot counter graveyard and and yeah I don't think even if I get that troop I don't think I'll be using that that tower troop 
Yeah, I just jabbed the uh, bats and minor on the left. So uh, that's uh, one advantage for me here is like his cannoneer troop cannot kill all my bait cards. So I have a little bit of advantage here. So bats, yeah. Your main push for this deck is like mortar another lane and hog and bats another lane. So I I'm playing like that. And uh, here he has a push coming in. So I try to cycle to jab. So I jab. But uh, the Megana gets on my tower. So I think he has uh, Witch and Arrows too. I think he was playing Arrows so I didn't play Minion Horde because Mega Knight decks they usually run, run Arrows and Mega Knight Arrows is actually a counter for this deck but he was playing something with Witch. I think I'm I'm sure like he was playing Witch. So yeah just bats for them minor. I'm gonna pressure cycle to my Hog and tank the bats with Hog. And there comes his witch. Like I'm not sure what he was trying to play there, but I chip the witch with my spear drops motor connector right there. I distract the prince with guards. I let the motor die. I let the motor die. And yeah, saving my elixir to make another push. Now I'm gonna tank those bats with hawk rider. So double attack. And yeah, my hawk rider gets a lot of shot. I I jab at a perfect timing to kill e uh, evil bats before it gets value. Now I try to, <laughs> I try to like pull everything there and let the Mega Knight lock and attack the prince with guards. But Mega Knight still still took my tower. Like, Mega Knight is really strong against my deck. So here we are like equal damage and two tower game. I play Minion Horde Hog Rider. Here I realize maybe he doesn't have arrows since he's playing witch. So. I fireball that witch, which is dead and my minion horde is still alive. I also jab too because the cannoneer troop is not that good against minion horde so I jabbed. So the minion horde gets on my tower and this is just a good game here. Because he doesn't have elixir. He spent all, all his elixir trying to defend my bait card so. And we're like one fireball away but I still take the tower with hog rider. And yeah with this match I think I'm top 200. And this is actually lo-fi in AK Syndicate. This is actually my secret account. But I, I don't care. Like, I'm showing you guys everything. So top 184 currently. And I went into another game. And we're facing Lava. So as I said already in previous videos, like Lava Hound is a uh, easy matchup for us. We have matchup against it. So I don't want you guys to lose against Lava Hound. So I'm gonna explain again how to beat Lava Hound. And this is like top 200, like these are good Lava Hound players. So I'm gonna explain how to win against the top the top players when you have matchup. So you soon lose this. I'm splitting guards because he has Barbarians. I, uh, I think he has Barbarians, yeah. So I wasn't sure, so I went hot, but now I'm, I'm sure that he has Barbarians. He's also playing Evo Barbs. If you ever see like Barbarians in a Lava Hound deck, just assume that it's a... Uh, Evo barbs in their deck. If you see knight in a lava deck, then just assume like they're playing Evo knight, something like that. And yeah, here. So if he plays lava in the back, you need to motor opposite lane. And uh, he didn't play lava, so I pre motor on the same lane. But this is also fine. The lava is gonna chip our motor, and at that time you need to chip the lava at the same time. So spear gobs in the back. And when they meet each other, like spear gobs are gonna chip lava hun. You also need to get your fireball ready if he has skeleton dragons. But he has uh, mega minions, so you just need to like bats and that's all. And uh, when they play a balloon behind lava hun, you need to minion her right on top of it. So there he uh, killed my minion her with arrows, right? So don't take, uh, don't be disheartened by that. Like we still have matchup. It's just like. Uh, the next push is gonna be ours because he made his big huge push and uh, now it's like our time to win you know just need to be careful to like you just need to be careful not to play hog rider right into their evil barbs so keep track of his spell he played arrows so i'm gonna pull those two barbs and hog rider opposite lane and he he cycled really quick there he played like barbs but my minion is still alive that's why he's gonna have to deal with minion horde and I played motar too to pressure him he's gonna balloon he has arrows and jab oh arrows and snowball so yeah we kinda outcycled him 
now he has barbs uh, so we nearly outcycled his barbarians now look at this prediction fireball he has barbarians and zap to kill everything so hograr is gonna get uh, shots so yeah even if our tower is like 900 damage like we still have mats of like you guys just need to keep playing like correctly keep playing correctly he doesn't have barbarians now so i went hot and f prism fireball too but uh, i didn't have elixir so and uh, here i realized i cannot really outcycle him because his his cycle is like two elixir goblin and uh, heal spirit for some reason so here i realized i cannot really outcycle him so i'm gonna have to uh, predict some fireball like every time but he didn't have elixir and my spirit of stick is tar so next match i want to show you guys uh royal hogs eq so yeah a lot a lot of you guys struggle against royal hogs eq using a motor deck so i'm gonna show you how to win against them so they have matchup and uh, you're not gonna win every single time but uh, if the player is not that good then i can win you know so there i played hog on the rightmost side so the cannon doesn't pull it like you guys can re rewind five seconds back and watch that hog placement it was like way uh, one tile lower and one tile like the rightmost side so here cannon is about to die so i play motor and i don't really have anything so fireball and spear gobs so fireball and spear gobs actually counters the royal hog with zero damage so if you don't have motor you can fireball spear gobs and uh, the royal hogs are gonna get zero damage here so yeah cannon is cannon is out of cycle so i went hog I'm gonna zap to retarget that archer queen to my bats so hog can get shots and that's how we take uh, that's how we dealt so much damage there yeah so car uh, his uh, cycle you need to like you don't even need to keep track like you can literally see his cannon was out of cycle and he doesn't really have a good counter for hog so i mean he can uh, delivery log but if you still play bats late then he's gonna have to force you know so look at that fireball and spear gobs we took zero damage that's what i was saying you guys can counter royal hawks like that and the uh, only way uh, like you're gonna lose is in double elixir they're gonna outcycle you so in uh, single elixir you need to get damage in single elixir so here i'm gonna tank this ice spirit with hog and then bats so he doesn't have uh, a good counter for my bet he, he, yeah he's gonna roll delivery now i can play a minion horde but i'm not gonna kill let him kill my minion horde uh, instantly so yeah i play guards first and see what he does so here i'm gonna motor and zap one of the uh, evil skeletons so that's that and uh, he doesn't have much elixir here to <laughs> to counter me so he just like gave up right right after so yeah, that's how you win against top players and see you guys next time.